40,000 weight loss surgeries done in the year 2022. That's the size of the weight loss industry. These figures give an idea about how people are just so keen to lose weight. And guess what? Pharmaceutical companies are making the most of it, very keen on capitalizing this desire in Indians to lose their extra fat and look good. This industry is booming. That's actually an understatement. Shitaja Gosavi gets us this report. US drug maker Eli Lilly has found its new market. It's all set to introduce its obesity drug Tirzipatide in India as early as next year. India is seeing a rate of annual increase in obesity at 5.2%. No wonder then that the country is catching on the craze of weight loss and are just too eager to buy Ozempic or Monjaro, whatever they get their hands on. Even travel overseas for these medicines. India's anti-obesity market has witnessed a significant surge, tripling in size over just two years following the launch of Novo Nordisk's semaglutide. Zempic in 2022. The market, which had seen sluggish growth until 2021, rocketed to a staggering 474 crores by January 2024, marking a 32% compound annual growth rate over the five years, according to Pharma Rank. Nowadays, a lot of people are coming in the OPD for quick fix, like they want they don't want surgery. They don't want any problem, uh, long-term problem with the surgery. They think that surgery will create a lot of problems. So they want a quick fix. So they go for uh, the uh, different type of uh, diet, which may be a little harmful without any dietitian uh, reference. Also, there are people who are taking uh, medicine, uh, the newer medicine and the injectable without doctor's prescription directly from the chemist. They are taking that. So that can cause a lot of side effect. So I would request not to go for the quick fix uh, treatment of obesity, but it should be a scientific approach to treat the obesity depending upon the BMI. Semaglutide is an anti-diabetic medication used for the treatment of type 2 diabetes and an anti-obesity medication used for long-term weight management. Commercially, it is also called Ozempic or Vigovi or Ribelsis, drugs that are sold by Novodisc. The introduction of these anti-diabetic medicines in India has been necessitated by the growing concern of obesity in India, where the prevalence rate stands at approximately 22% among the main population, 23% among females and 11% in children. There's a lot of demand for medications in obesity because of the fact that people don't want to change lifestyle because it takes time and you want to experience good food and not do much exercise. I think because we are lazy, that's all. But that's why there are these medicines in uh, now which, which are coming all around. We can see a lot of medications for weight loss. Basically, all they do is suppress appetite. So when you suppress appetite, you eat less, but you still eat your favorite food. So basically, you still didn't change your lifestyle. And how long can you take a medication for weight loss? Indian pharmaceutical companies are now eyeing this lucrative market, aiming to introduce a range of anti-obesity drugs tailored to combat the growing epidemic. The global market is already familiar with brands like Vigovi, Ozempic and Mahunjaro, which have set the precedent for successful weight management solutions. Apart from growth in demand for anti-obesity drugs, there is also a demand for products related to weight loss and apps that would help you achieve your goals. As per the Indian Healthcare Apps Market Report 2021, the apps market was valued at 4,341 crores in 2020 and is estimated to reach 33,789 crores by 2026. According to Accurize Market Research, India's fitness and nutrition app market will surpass 1.41 lakh crore by 2013. This pertains to apps like Runkeeper and Fitbit. 
The desire to have fit bodies, the association of lean and slender with fit and healthy, has fueled further demand for bariatric surgeries in India. According to a report by Global Data, around 40,000 weight management surgeries were performed in India in 2022. If your uh, if your stomach is this big, they're going to make the pouch that small. So what happens with such patients is that if they have not changed their lifestyle, they are first they're going to crave that food. So always bariatric surgery should be having a six month pre operative program where they make person used to the better life, better eating habits. When the pouch is that small, and if you eat more, you will get vomiting. The problem with bariatric is that you get a lot of loose skin. So bariatric surgery, increasing demand should not mean that people are looking for shortcuts. It should mean that we are actually trying to curtail obesity. India's love affair with weight loss has perhaps only begun. But what needs to be kept in mind that each of these procedures like weight loss pills or diet needs to be done only and only after a doctor green flags it. With video journalist Manish Cha, this is Shitija Gosavi for India Today. Well, here's a wrap on all interesting news around obesity. Eli Lilly plans to launch its obesity drug in India next year. The drug, also known as Monjaro for diabetes and Z-bound for weight loss in the US, may see authorized generic versions. The Center for Disease Control says what it calls an obesity epidemic is costing airlines in higher fuel charges to carry around heavier passengers. Heavy suitcases clearly aren't the only things weighing down airplanes and requiring them to burn more fuel, pushing up the cost of flights. A new government study reveals that airlines increasingly have to worry more about the weight of their passengers as well. America's growing waistlines are hurting the bottom lines of airline companies as the extra pounds on passengers are causing a drag on planes. Heavier flyers have created heftier fuel costs, according to the government study. Weight loss drugs then are expected to save airlines millions. Obesity drugs have another superpower, taming inflation. The medications that reduce body weight also reduce inflammation in organs like the brain, raising hopes that they can treat Parkinson's and Alzheimer's. More research is being done around this.